Good evening, YouTubers. Today I wanted to discuss a little bit about after-tax cash flow accounting. Now, not just accounting, this can apply to any uh, financial subject. Now, assume in this particular case that you win a lottery for $100,000 and you can either take that money right then or you can choose to have five payments of $25,000. Now, right off the bat, it seems like you get a lot more with the five payments option. However, I'm going to show you a little trick that has to do with the tax. So right now we're going to put $100,000 that you would receive now, and that's with the net present value. Or the other option is going to be $25,000 per year, so year one, two, three, four, and five. And to make it a little more interesting, we're going to assume that the marginal tax rate is 35%. So we can calculate what we'd get right now. We do 100,000 and we multiply it by 0.35 and that'll give us what we pay in taxes. So that'll end up being 35,000 in taxes. So you subtract 35,000 and you end up with 65,000. That is going to be what you get if you decide to take the payment right now. Now, if you decide to take the payment at the end of five years, we're going to assume the same tax rate. So $25,000 at the end of year one after a 35% uh, taxes is going to be 25,000 and I'm just going to multiply it by 0.65 on my calculator. That's going to be sixteen thousand two hundred and fifty now that's per each year and that's after taxes now we're also going to assume an eight percent discount rate what this means is that there's like an eight percent inflation rate in your money meaning that this sixteen thousand two hundred and fifty it's worth that in one year however if we want to bring it back to now we have to, so we're going to bring it back to now. We're going to have to use our financial calculators. And all we have to do is put in the 16250 as a payment. Uh, future value of zero, because they're paying it to you all. Five for N, because it's going to be five years. And we set an 8% discount rate. And then, then it's going to give, we're going to press our present value and it'll give us that. It's going to be 64,882 rounded. So now we can see that both options are actually quite similar. Um, if we decide to get the money now, our net present value is going to be 65,000. Whereas if we decide to take the five payments, we're actually going to be getting less if we choose that option. Uh, that's with the taxes included and assuming an 8% discount rate, which may not always be realistic. This has been an uh, episode of Accounting with Chris. Thank you.